new dining service is worth writing home about. Quiet as a library. The smartest way to leave town. What's going on, gang? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome here if you're new. I went to Arizona. I decided to go check out Sedona. It was awesome, but I wanted to film a full day of eating travel style for you so that you can tell what are you going to eat that's healthy, that's optimally healthy at airports, at restaurants, various things. This video is split up into two parts. Part one, which is this one, is the airport experience, as there are some awesome little tidbits in this video for you when you do travel. It is possible to stay optimally healthy everywhere, but I did not film any cheats. I didn't cheat at all this trip. However, <laughs> when you are traveling, if you're on vacation, if you're at exploring, let yourself have whatever. 80-20 is what I always say. And I'll see you at the end of this. Enjoy. It is very early, 6.23 a.m. <laughs> We're at Pearson, made it through security, all is well. We're going to Sedona, Arizona today. my first experience vlogging in public. Everyone's staring, but that's fine. So also super proud of myself because I fit everything in a carry-on. Hindsight is 2020. I picked the one place you could go where you should not be fitting everything into a carry-on. Trust me, Sedona is the desert. Whoops. So during the day, it's super, super hot. You obviously want to go hiking, so you need those sweaty hiking clothes. And then you need your normal daytime hanging out clothes. And then at nighttime in the desert, it gets really, really cold. So then you need layers, obviously, to keep yourself warm. So giant fail on the pack front for this trip. Anyway, you can't obviously bring toothpaste. So I was like, oh, no problem. I'll just buy toothpaste. They want your firstborn child for that. What? Little toothpaste? Gonna need it though, so it's fine. Anyway, we're gonna look at some healthy options at the airport for eating. I've only ever flown out of Terminal 3 at Pearson. Today we're at Terminal 1. So it's new, but there's so many more healthy options than there was before when I used to travel. Booster juice, power ball, energy ball, energy bars, things like that. If you're from Canada, you're aware of it. If not, smoothies, it's awesome. All right, so we'll check it out. This looks scary. That just looks gross. Okay, handy dandy little iPad. Food, in-flight snacks, bakery, breakfast, express breakfast. You can get water for the cost of a firstborn child as well. Kids breakfast, last order. What did the last person get? <gasps> they got a chocolate pastry, a chai latte, and a latte. Okay, that's not my flight though. Change flight. I'm going to Arizona, so. Okay, so my flight's not even on here, whatever. But anyway, you can do that. It's 
so funny. I thought vlogging was way more of a thing these days, and apparently it's not, and I'm by myself, but that's fine. Why are y'all looking at me like that? It's kind of embarrassing, but whatever. They've seen my videos. They are fans of me. But anyway, those are the healthy options that I found. There is a restaurant called The Hearth from Lynn Crawford, who is an amazing chef. I had a pro bar, 20 grams of protein earlier at 4.30 in the morning, just before 5 a.m. What time is it now? It's 6.34 now. When I get hungry and when I get food, you're gonna see it first. Sitting here thinking, I used to travel a lot. And at airports, because of the stupid long wait times, you'd think they would have things like a nail shop or a gym, because obviously when you wanna go to the gym while you're waiting for your next flight or get your nails done, then I'm just sitting here hanging out 10 minute manicure right across from me. They're not open, so obviously fail on that part, but pretty handy. See, check that out. What? I'm not about to go try to go to the gym right now anyway, but amazing idea. Why haven't they always had this? When I was in Sweden or Amsterdam, I can't remember, but somewhere in Europe, they also had a yoga studio with a virtual yoga instructor on a TV. That's incredible. Meditation rooms, airports these days could totally be Tom Hanks. I would be very happy, minus the fact that it's five bucks for a water. I did buy Evian though. Mm, the healthiest water to buy when out is Evian or Fiji. They have a lot of total dissolved solids. They're not as completely stripped of the minerals in them. That's what I would suggest. This is what we have found. Cannellini beans, albacore tuna, roasted onions, egg, and potatoes. I don't know if they mean tomatoes. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. It definitely says potatoes, but I don't see any. All right, salad down. And because I always feel like something sweet after I eat anything, really. Snack size funky monkey, which is bananas, chocolate almond milk, and vanilla frozen yogurt. It's really not that chocolatey. It's like, tastes like my face looks right now. Banana flavored mostly. Is there meat in this? But this is what I'm gonna have. It is 7.39, so just under an hour now until I board. So I think this will be it. And then I've got a few bars, some macro bars, some kind bars. Lighting is so bad everywhere. These bags are not avoidable. Can't hide them. Can't hide. Okay, well, anyway, it's almost time to board. I have about 20 more minutes. Tall skinny caramel macchiato with coconut milk. The tall should mean big, but it means small. And a grande should mean large, but it means medium. All that confuses me. Still being stared at, but getting used to it now. Getting used to it. Be on the plane. Airlines have come a long way in what they have to offer for you to eat. There are meal and snack options for every dietary preference and brand partnerships with airlines now, which is amazing because Freshie, in my opinion, is a wonderful brand to partner with. Freshie is a go-to for takeout food for me at home. Now that they're on airplanes, that's amazing. That guarantees you a healthy, nutritious meal. You can make that gluten and dairy free. You can make it vegan if you want to. There are also awesome cheap food choices on this menu. I apologize. The turbulence was so bad. This is stabilized on top of the turbulence, so that's how bad it was. There are lovely alcoholic beverages if you wish to take part in that and also partnered with David's Tea. What? I love David's Tea. It is high quality, awesome tea. So yeah, lots of food options on flights these days. So here we are. This is Phoenix. I had a macro bar on the plane. Nothing else yet. Some water, about a 40 minute nap. And then we're gonna take a little road trip up to Sedona. My body can't really figure out what day it is, what time it is. If I'm hungry, if I'm tired, it feels like midnight. 
the flight was four hours and 42 minutes and I've gone back in time three hours, so. Right, Scott! We're gonna figure out what we're gonna do next. Okay, so healthy food of choice at the Phoenix airport was Panera Bread, modern Greek salad with quinoa, bottle of water, already ate a banana. I was looking at Panera Bread, and then right next door was this taco place, but the taco salad looked super nasty. No offense to the taco place, it was gross! Anyway, so this will fill me for a little while, and then we'll see. This looks delicious. That's all she wrote. I have this, that's it. Bottle of water, Evian again. I have had a green tea to keep my ass awake and a Luna bar pictured here. And that's it. And that will conclude this full day of eating travel style. If you want cheat days, cool. That's how I live my life, 80-20. Sometimes I have absolute blowout cheat days. So yes, I will record that. Give this video a like if you want to see that. And until the next step of this journey, I'll see you then. So there you have it. It was a very healthy journey. I hope you found some of these tips helpful for you when you do travel. If you have any questions, if you need any other future videos filmed about this or you'd like to see more, please comment below and I'd be happy to help you out with that. Alternatively, you can send me a message. Please check out my Instagram as there's all kinds of things on my Instagram that aren't shown on my YouTube. That is kick.it.with.kelly is my Instagram name. I have linked that below as well. I have also linked my Facebook. Just my information is below if you wanna know a little bit more about me. Please do hit that little bell notification icon if you would like a notification each time I post a new video. Please do subscribe to my channel. Subscribing really is where the support does come from and I am so grateful to any and all subscribers. Also, I've got an amazing two giveaways coming up. The first giveaway is at 500 subscribers, and that is a home fitness prize pack. Everything you need for an awesome workout at home to up your fitness game. I do have a software that will choose one randomly, so no bias going on there. Giveaway number two is at 1,000 subscribers, and that is a completely individualized nutritional assessment and program a complete nutrition package tailored to you as a unique individual and how your body metabolizes foods. Don't miss that. And until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun exploring new places, trying new things. I'll see you then. Bye.